be a hot weekend pretty much wherever you're going. It really <laughs> is, but you know what? Great to be at the beach, the pool. Just keep an eye to the sky. It may actually get a little rain today. Right now, you can see there's cumulus clouds building up here from our Hoover. Higher Regency camera temperatures coming in. Well, it says 79 degrees. That number is clearly wrong. It's not that cool in Hoover. Uh, it was just in the 90s a minute ago, but it's 93 nearby. Birmingham, 94. Alabaster, to get the idea, mid 90s. 95 Tuscaloosa, a little hot there at 97. 93 Gadsden and Aniston. You factor in the humidity. It feels like anywhere from 98 degrees to about 106. You see there over in Tuscaloosa. So we do have a lot of the heat to contend with during the day today. There you see those cumulus clouds kind of lining up here right in the edge of the Appalachians and we'll continue watching the clouds moving in from the southeast courtesy of this area of low pressure now sitting here right over Jacksonville, Florida. It's going to bring in the cloud cover, bring some additional moisture, making it more humid and also a chance for some rain. You can see here the hurricane center. They're tracking this, but it's right along the coastline there uh, along a 1 a and the beach. So we're looking at no chance for development, but it will bring us again kind of a tropical feel to the air. So 97 degrees, you'll see that chance rain does increase this evening and afternoon. So watch out for a few thunderstorms out there and you'll notice here temperatures 97 from here. Alabaster, Jasper, 96 in Tuscaloosa, maybe 97 Gadsden and Anison and the heat index numbers running about 100 to 108 across the area today. So find ways to keep yourself cool and hydrated. Heat advisory in effect for today, tonight, all the way till tomorrow as well because we're dealing with those intense temperatures and also poor air quality both in Jefferson in Shelby counties. We are code orange or unhealthy for sensitive groups. So if you have respiratory problems, try to stay inside in the air condition. Maybe head to your favorite restaurant for Birmingham Restaurant Week. It concludes tomorrow, but today still can see a little bit of some rain, 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock as temperatures fall from the 90s down into the 80s. So just keep that in mind. So let's look at future cast here and show you that we will see a few of these showers and storms popping up through 3 o'clock this afternoon. Temperatures there into the mid 90s. May see still a little rain here from 6 o'clock to even, believe it or not, 11 o'clock tonight. A couple of showers in a back to Lineville Delta area toward Talladega Lincoln and heading back toward Sylacauga as well. And then they'll die out by tomorrow morning. We'll start off pretty muggy in the 70s and then we'll see the storms refiring back up by lunchtime on Saturday. Now again, some of these could produce some heavy rain, so you need to watch out for these these bands from that low that's over into Georgia at this point. We'll still see some rain by four o'clock Saturday afternoon again hit or miss variety, but a little more coverage than we're looking at for today. Kind of dies out once you go into Sunday morning, very muggy in the 70s, but by the afternoon we'll see those storms refiring back up. Also need to watch for storms maybe coming in from the north as well too during the day there. If you head out to Freedom Fest tomorrow at Kelly Ingram Park in downtown, again, watch out for those storms in the afternoon. Can't bring umbrellas in there, but you can bring your raincoat and poncho. I would recommend doing that. It's going to be very hot, so make sure you're hydrated and don't forget your sunscreen as well as we get to 97 tomorrow. 98 Sunday. Again, still could see a few of those storms. A couple of those could get strong, borderline severe. The risk is really low for some gusty winds and hail, but we need to keep an eye on those again. They're diving in from the northwest as that northwest flow brings back a couple of storms across the area. So we'll watch out for that as the humidity goes up. It is going to go down a little bit into early part of next week, and you can see the heat index numbers drop as well too as we get into Tuesday. Thanks to our front moving into the area, but yes, still 97 on Monday, 96. I dropped the numbers a smidge there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with a chance of pop up storms as the humidity is a little bit lower. Have a great weekend.